if we look at the, the the wording which is used in the standard itself, okay, it clearly indicates that it is the most senior management within the company. I'm talking now chairman level board of directors who have to be accountable and manage and oversee the aspects of compliance that the company has with its products to any particular marketplace. For example, if the product is sold in Europe, then it must be compliable to all European standards related to that particular product type. Traceability, clearly the intention here is to, is to improve the um, EPD submissions. This is the point that oh, I'm getting to, which is, yeah. which is the, the, you know, the, no longer just making a declaration is going to be good enough. The UPD at the moment is a declaration. We are doing everything that we say we are doing. Then what I see is right. this being used as a tool where it, it forces senior management to be accountable to their systems. It's also what I believe to be a, an umbrella standard, which will cover both 9001, 13485, uh, and virtually any quality system that you want, including 16949. It's, it's purely about how the company ensures from a senior level downwards that it complies with all relevant standards and regulations and laws. That's That's really the standard in a nutshell. Right, right. Okay. So, what? So, how how do you see this standard? So, so Clive says, in essence, it has a lot to do with um, accountability at the top of the company. It in certain uh, verticals. So, so Clive mentioned EPD, environmental product declaration, right? So, uh, now we're, we're going from quality and safety to environmental regulations uh, for for the EU. So, it it, it seems to be very very broad. Uh, how? Uh, Basically, how, if someone asks you, okay, what is this standard? What is a compliance management uh, system? And what what is this set of requirements, right? How does it play with the other common standard, like 9001, 14001, and so on? What, how, how would you explain it? Uh, as Clive mentioned, the, this is a senior management system. And uh, and, and we know the standards are, can be separated three three different classes. The first is about the standards of product. The second is about uh, second is about the business process, like ISO 9001. Um, but for the uh, for this com complex management, this is a senior management, which means it's mainly focused on the uh, mainly focused on the governance level. Uh, as uh, as a huge company, the uh, the people, the CEOs, or the chairmen, uh, chairman need to focus on the management of the uh, strategic management management of compliance management. So, uh, as uh, if the company want to import import uh, uh, compliance management, they have to establish a strategic. Uh, for for the whole compliance, but if you want to focus on the uh, specific aspect like uh, like quality management or the environment environmental management, you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, watch on what's right regulation and what laws you have to obey, uh, and uh, the quality management can be a really useful uh, useful tools to help you to uh, recognize this all these uh, compliance. Uh, compliance uh, risks and uh, you, what you have to do right 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 yeah so yeah very good points here um i saw 9001 and and like the other like uh, sort of quality management systems such as 13485 or iatf 16949 and so on are sort of to be implemented maybe at the business unit or you know in 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 um in in maybe one branch of the operations of a company Whereas you say that the standard here, and maybe also also uh, fourteen seven oh oh one, which is about uh, anti bribery, anti corruption systems, right? These kind of of other um, uh, management systems are more uh, geared toward okay the top of the company and how it controls the whole company, right? And if there's like five different business units, it has to cover all the business unit and and how to say uh, there's a lot of requirements that apply to 
to the top, to the, the, the top leadership of the group, if I may say that. Is that a good way of, of framing it? I would say that the, the, pe the persons that are probably going to be more involved with this would be the company legal counsel. So it depends. So the, the standard itself, I had a look, it does, it say like governing body, which is interesting. Uh, this is not in 9001 or anything like that, right? So if, if a company, let's say, for the auditors who are thinking, okay, what is this? Let's say a company has like three business units, And, and then there's some centralized functions such as, you know, accounting, legal, and things like that. And then it also above, let's say there's the, the CEO, and then above the CEO is maybe a board of directors, right? So here they are saying that there's got to be a function somewhere that actually uh, looks at compliance obligations, um, make sure that, that objectives are set, that the right culture is set, and, and so on and so forth and does some auditing and also this this should also probably be not only like at legal uh, somewhere below the ceo but also another a function to which the ceo actually reports to so probably on the board so this is why on on uh public companies boards usually there's one of the board members at least um has um you know and 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 maybe there's there's an entire committee for that on on the board right to to look at um, risk compliance and things like that so this is the kind of structure that this standard will push companies to to adopt is that uh th th that's what you were going to say yeah my is my it? read my read is that if you if you look at 13485 where it calls for companies to have a compliance officer on board at a senior level. Uh, this is again following very much in that vein that they must be at a board level, at a board level um, position, a compliance officer. And that compliance officer looks at the group of companies, not just at a single group. Right. But 13485, so for the auditors, this is the quality measurement system. Uh, set of requirements for medical devices okay Correct. and it, it it does say that you have to have a compliance officer but in that standard actually 13485 it doesn't say that the compliance officer has to be at the board level right it has it says that the compliance officer okay has to be knowledgeable has to be able to know what the regulations are and like and and do everything that is supposed to be but maybe what's missing and that's what led to a lot of issues there is that the compliance officer is still sort of uh, reporting to the, the GM of the business unit or, or some business function like this. And the business function, and it's it's something that's quite um, quite often an issue in, in, in China, uh, you know, would override, would say, no, nah, no, nah, okay, this, don't worry about this, put it, you know, under the carpet, right? And, and here, this standard, is actually saying, no, 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 like above the business functions, there needs to be a function that audits all of this and, and sets the right culture and, and so on and so forth.